What's going on, Brooklyn? <laughs> Fuck, a white guy, holy shit. Hey, that's right, I'm here. Holy shit, Brooklyn, you guys are doing it. I feel that in this crowd, I do. I like to see everyone's here, though, man. The black people and white people and some miscellaneous shit mixed in. <laughs> some other stuff. And them. Black and white racism. Is it ever going to end? No. It's not. It's one thing holding us back. Because if you look at the cultures, they're mixing. All the clothes, the same shit. The music's the same shit. Fear. Black and people and white people fear different shit, and that's what holds us back. We don't understand each other's fears. That's the truth. It is. I'll give you a good example of those fears. Uh, my friend Kareem. Uh, he's black. Now, I saw Kareem fist fight a guy that had a gun. A guy put a gun out. Kareem fist fought him. He wasn't afraid of that shit at all. But Kareem is petrified of pigeons and squirrels. Now... Hook across the street, all that shit. He don't fuck with them. And white people, we can't understand that, can we? We don't. Because we love pigeons and squirrels. We feed them crumbs and shit. We love them. The problem is white people are only afraid of one thing. Black people. And that's the fucking problem. It's a big circle of fear. It's black people, pigeons, squirrels, white people, black people. It's just four points of fear in the Bible. You just got to know what you do. I'm not racist because I was raised around a lot of culture. I was. I'm from Philadelphia. It's a city like anything else, Philadelphia. A lot of culture. My high school, we had uh, black people and white person, and that was pretty cool because <laughs> I was the white person for most of that. <laughs> I used to get my ass beat, and I couldn't fight for shit. I was raised by all women, my grandma and my mom, so I couldn't fight for shit. I could argue like a motherfucker. They taught me all that shit. I get all that, this shit, I'm a bitch, fuck me. Fucking bad. I take my purse off, I hit him with that shit. <laughs> I tried to teach myself how to fight when I was younger. I thought I was going to be the shit. I had a plan. I was going to watch movies, learn how to fight by watching movies. Because I was getting fucked with at school a lot, right? So I'm fucking going home like a grandma. What movies do we have? I need something with some gangs and violent shit and some fights. What do we got? She goes, oh, gangs, we have Grease and West Side Story. So... <laughs> I watched them a lot, and I went to school real cocky. Starting shit with these Broadway skills. I'm slapping people and pushing them and shit. And one kid's like, yo, Jay, enough of that shit, parking lot, 3.30. I was like, Psh, I'll be there, I'll be there, right? Yeah. Yeah, 3.30 it is. What? Oh, see you then. They don't like that shit. When you get a little flary at the end, it doesn't, they don't like it. So 3.30, I'm walking in a fight. I'm nervous. Luckily, I got my background dancers with me, right? They got on the, the glitter shirts and the gloves and shit. We get to this fight. Everyone from school's there. And I'm looking around. They're all going, fight, fight, fight. I look around. The kid hit me in the face first, which was not in the movie, right? He hits me right in the face. He goes, what do you say now, bitch? I was like, I'm a crazy motherfucker, and you don't want to mess with me. And the background dancers jumped like, motherfucker, crazy motherfucker. I'm like, yes. Oh, we all got our asses kicked, but it was fucking gorgeous. It was well choreographed. Wow. There's a lot of pretty women here. And I know you probably want to fuck me after the show, but listen. I got some news, ladies. I don't fuck pretty women. I do not fuck pretty women for two reasons. Number one, I can't. Number two, pretty women always got some baggage, don't they? You never fuck a pretty girl easy. You always got to hear some sad shit. You got to listen to some life story and some family shit and go, <laughs> I don't give a shit. I don't have the patience for that shit. Every time I talk to a pretty girl, some shit you got to hear. I, was at a, I had a girl at a bar made me cry like a bitch two weeks ago. Like a baby bitch, I cried. She said some sad shit. I'm sitting at the bar, right? She's gorgeous. She walks in. I'm like, oh, shit, gorgeous. I'm going to talk to her, right? She's just next to me. I'm having a few drinks first to ease the pain before I do it, right? <laughs> While I'm drinking, Jukebox comes on. The song Freebird by Leonard Skinner comes on. She starts crying. Now I'm sensitive, so I'm like, why are you crying, bitch? And she looks at me. 
And she goes, actually, when I was 18 years old, I got raped to this song. Now, that's not funny. That sucks. That's not funny at all. That sucks for two reasons. One, rape is a disgusting crime. Most disgusting crime a guy can commit in this country. It is. And, uh, and two, that's a very long fucking song, right? So then I started crying, because I remember I was in jail. I got raped to Rapper's Delight, and that's like 15 fucking verses. And there was a DJ at my rape. He goes, <laughs> Guys, join us tonight. Thank you very much.